name is Noor Ain Bindi Ramli and I am the second year of medical student from University of Cyberjaya. The purpose of this video is to share a lot of medical knowledges and facts. At the same time, bust the medical myths that we have heard until today. Hello? Hello? Hi! Hello! Um, This one is actually a fact because diabetes is actually a condition when you have high blood sugar. Carbohydrate can will be turned into glucose and then it will be used as energy in our body. But if we take in excess, it can actually lead to diabetes, uh, hypertension and a lot more. Okay, Watery lung in medical conditions, there are a few. Um, there is pleural effusion, pneumonia and pulmonary edema. Okay. None of them is actually caused by us taking bath at night. Miscarriage. This is a myth because um, based Okay, so it's okay for you to actually eat it, but eat it in moderately lah. Because this is a myth because um, we have to know that skin pigmentation, the one that can cause our skin to have color, is because of uh, a melanin it's produced by melanocytes. It's not true, it is me. You have to understand that um, the pus itself, how does it happen? Basically, pus happens when there is infection. When we have infection in our body, our immune system will take to fight the infection and then um, there will be dead cells. Um, and these dead cells will be in pus and abscess. Okay, so okay, if you are allergic to egg, yes, you cannot eat the egg. Okay, because it will cause um, allergic reaction, which is can cause to something that we don't want as well. Lah. But if you are not allergic to egg, uh, you can eat it after the surgery. And we also have to know that eggs is actually a source of protein. So yeah, well, I have to eat supplements in order to be healthy. That one is wrong. So this is actually a myth. Okay, for information, we can actually get all of the vitamins from our diet's food. So we don't really have to um, rely on the vitamins actually. Keep in mind that um, the supplements can be very dangerous when you get it from um, a source which is not reliable, okay? You can be healthy without supplements. Besides eating, you also have to exercise. If you get too much certain vitamins, you can get a batu karang like that. This one is wrong because anything that you eat will be processed in your stomach. Um, it's either slow or fast, but eventually it will not just stay in your stomach forever. It will actually be processed. Either you will absorb the nutrition and the rest, you will excrete it off. This one is wrong. This is on a myth because um, like I said just now, Panadol also anything that goes into our stomach will be processed. Um, Panadol itself has its own um, has its own half life, means that it won't stay forever in our body. Uh, at some point, it will actually be excreted. So last but not least, there are actually more websites that can be reliable nowadays. Even nowadays, even my lecturers say that Wikipedia can actually be trusted. But so uh, make sure the one that you search is something like evidence based, or you can actually refer to your lecturers. Or you have friends who actually study in medical um, field, okay, or any doctors that you know. So, yeah, that's it for this video. I've touched everything. Thank you for watching this video. Assalamualaikum.